guys welcome back to all to illuminator 11 if you are new to the channel a really warm welcome to you so we are going to check in to see as we start this new week what energies are coming through divine masculine divine feminines and for the journey today we're bringing in the angel tarot i also did a third video for our series create magic in your life so do check that out so thank you angels what messages are coming through for divine masculine straight out and then what messages are coming through energies for divine feminines okay and then thank you angels we're bringing in as well this is the angel prayer cards for divine masculines what messages are coming through right and then for divine feminines thank you angels wow really jumping out here and then for the journey thank you angels power in nature twin flame oracle what messages are coming through for the journey what messages are coming through for the journey wow okay and then we'll get some messages from your divine masculine as well um, using the opening opens up deck thank you angels what is the divine masculine wanting the divine feminine to know today what are they wanting to say what is the divine masculine wanting the divine feminine to know what are they wanting to say so they're really jumping out today okay so let's see what's coming through here right just put these there right so we'll check in with the divine masculines first so the first card that we've got we've got here the ten of air this is like the ten of swords and you know that's that card of ending a cycle you know coming to the end of a chapter in their life so that they can then be able to move forward to where they're truly meant to be so this is about change coming in for the divine masculines you know, they've been going through a cycle in their life right now and change is coming in. I feel that as we're moving into this 2024, you know, they are ending cycles so they can be able to move forward towards new beginnings with their divine feminine. The next card that has come out is the six of air. And this is the card of, as you can see, it's like, you know, moving forward into change, you know, into calmer waters, into where they're truly meant to be. I feel that this can also be in their mind where they've had loads of like fears and worries. You know, there's that coming to the end of a chapter where they are awakening and starting to open their eyes and starting to work on releasing that fear, you know, so that they can find more of that calm in their mind as well. But also this is about change, you know, ending a chapter or a cycle in their life to move forward to, uh, you know, a, a, a sort of like um, a, where they're truly meant to be. You know, it's like a change coming in to bring in the life that is more peaceful, calmer waters in their own life, in, you know, having more peace in their life. You know, walking away maybe from a comic situation that has not been, you know, that's been causing a lot of issues for them and not bringing them happiness and moving into or, or peace and now moving into a next chapter of their life where they will have more of that peace. So that's the energy that's really coming through here. The next card that we also have for the Divine Masculines is the Six of Water. So this is the card of, you know, the past coming back. So they are going through an ending of a cycle so that they can move to where they're truly meant to be and they are going to be that past that comes back and i feel you're being shown as well that as they come back as that past coming back into your life even in their minds they are going to be in a better place than they were before and you know and they are coming in to have that life with you their divine feminine and it's also something that i feel they're thinking about quite a lot you know, thinking of the good times that you shared before and wanting to have that life with you. So you're being shown they are that past that, that is coming back. And I think one of the videos that I did last week was also saying the same sort of message. And the last one is the king of water. So this is about that love that they have for you. You know, they hold that cup of love for you, their divine feminine, you know, in their emotion, water is all about the emotion. So they have that love, they have, they have those feelings that they have that they want to open up and tell you as the past that comes back to you. So they are ending in a chapter so that they are a cycle in their life so that they can move forward to be that past that comes back and tell you 
of that love that they've been holding on to for so long and not opening up to say. So that's what these cards are really showing as we start this week. And then for you, the Divine Feminine, so the first card that we have is the Release card. And this is that card of, you know, like a change coming in. You know, and it says here, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So it's about letting go. So I feel you're being asked to let go of any fears, to let go of anything that may be holding you back. You know, anything, you know, you're also going through a, cha a time of releasing. Maybe you are in a karmic situation that you have to release so that you can be able to move forward. You know, you can be able to, you know, clear your energy to then be able to bring in the love that you are desiring. So, you know, there is something that's ending and releasing that's happening for you so you can move on into your new beginnings. It may be letting go of that worry and, you know, constantly wondering when it's going to happen to get into a place of feeling good in yourself. You know, being, enjoying your life, loving your life, focusing on the things that you're doing in your life. So it's like you are releasing that energy that you may have been holding on to for so long so that you get into a place of feeling good and loving life. And that is what, you know, helps you to create magic in your life, to be able to attract and bring in that love that you are desiring. So, you know, you're moving forward on your own path, growing up spiritually, and that's helping things to move forward as well in your life. The la In your life, the last card that we have is the Knight of Air. And this is, as you can see, that's about that Divine Masculine rushing forward. You know, they are going to surprise you. They are going to rush in when you least expect it. You know, things will happen quickly. You know, when they are ready, because you're in that energy of feeling good, you've released that worry and, you know, you are loving life, you're living your life. You know, constantly wondering when they're coming, what they're doing. You are just living your life. And that's when things move forward and they come in and surprise you. So they are going to rush in and, you know, because they are the past that's coming back. You know, they're ending a cycle. They are moving forward to where they're truly meant to be. And, you know, and they are going to rush in when you least expect it. So those are the energies coming through for both Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines. And then the cards that have come out for the Divine Masculines. So we've got here, Loved One in Heaven. And it says, thank you, Loved Ones in Heaven, for drawing close at this time. So you're being shown that they have their angels with them guiding them supporting them helping them as they end these chapters to move forward to where they're truly meant to be so they are being guided as well and we also have inner voice so you know this is about listening more to their intuition listening to the guidance that's coming in from their spirit guides from their angels to help them to make the changes that they need to make to help them to release what they need to release to help them to move forward to where they're meant to be Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. So both of these cards are showing you the guidance and support that your divine masculine has on their path to help them to then be able to come forward to where to you, their divine feminine, to where they're meant to be or to the life that they're truly here to live. And then the cards that have come out for you. So we've got here, move your body. And it says, thank you, angels, for mo motivating me to move my body and energy. So this can be about maybe dancing, you know, doing something that you love. But in your day, maybe you work, you know, in front of a computer like I do. And, you know, it's about giving yourself the time to go out for that walk or, you know, do your exercise, you know, really sort of being that energy of, you know, moving your body and energy. So whatever that is for you. And then we also have unconditional love. The Divine Mother, thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. So this is beautiful. You know, the Divine Mother, they're helping you to open up to unconditional love. And I'm also hearing Jesus helping you to open up to unconditional love. And that starts with that unconditional love for self. And you're also learning to have that unconditional love for your Divine Masculine and for everyone. So that's the message that's also coming through. For you, the Divine Feminine, the more you are in that energy of unconditional love, the more that's also helping your journey to move forward. So the cards that have come out for the journey. So the first card that we've got, we've got spiritual path. And it says on the path to higher consciousness and to your best life yet. So this is you on your spiritual path. 
you know, to your best life yet that is coming in for you. And I feel your divine masculine because this is for the journey. It's also on their spiritual path because, you know, as you are moving forward, they also start to move forward, you know, as a divine masculine. So they are both on that path to your best life yet. And that's that path of higher consciousness of opening up on your spiritual path. The next card that we've got, we've got here is truth. And it says, speak your truth, even if others may not get you. And I feel that this is what's happening with your divine masculine as well. They are opening up to or learning to speak their truth. Even if the people that are there with, you know, whether it's a job that they're in, a comic situation, a relationship, you know, their family, even if they don't understand what's going on with them, they are learning to open up and speak their truth. And, you know, and this is the truth that comes through from deep within about them wanting to change things in their life. You know, as they end this chapter, they are starting to connect more to speaking their truth to then be able to move forward. This is also about them wanting to come forward, speak their truth to you, their divine feminine, to tell you how they feel. And for you, this is about speaking your truth about who you are. You know, and what is your own inner truth in everything that you do in your life? And the last message is, is gratitude. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life. So you're being asked to be in that energy of gratitude. You know, gratitude helps you to feel good in yourself. It helps you to see the blessings that are in your life, you know, to focus on the good things, to focus on the things that are helping you, you know, in your day-to-day -day life, even the smallest things. And the more you're doing that, you know, the more you're noticing those things, being grateful for them, that just magically opens doors for even more of the things that you love to come into your life. So that's the message that, that is coming through. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life. And then to finish off, messages from your divine masculine. I am growing and changing into who I am truly meant to be. So that's what they're showing you. You know, they are ending a, a cycle in their life where now they are growing and changing into who they are truly meant to be. You know, they are going through releasing, you know, things of the past and the programming and socialization and all those things and conditioning. And they are opening up and growing into who they are truly meant to be. And as they do that, that's going to help them to move forward, you know, to the life that they are truly here to live. They are also saying to you, I feel the love that you sent me and it brings warmth into my heart. Please keep sending me love because it helps me more than you would ever imagine. So they are asking you to keep sending them that love. It helps them. I cannot continue life right now as it is without you. I am therefore working hard on healing and changing my life so I can be with you, my one and only true love. So then they are tired. They can't continue with life the way that it is. You know, this is why that as a cycle is ending because they are wanting to change. You know, they want a life with you, their divine feminine. And that's what they're working on, working hard on healing themselves and changing their life so that they can be with you, their one and only true love. When the time is right, I really want just the two of us to go away for a bit, somewhere nice, beautiful, uh, somewhere nice, beautiful and peaceful to spend time together and get to know each other again. So this is what they're thinking about, you know, what they are wanting to do when they rush in and surprise you. You know, they want to have that time with you to just go away somewhere nice and beautiful and peaceful where you can spend time talking, opening up and, you know, really getting to know each other again. They are also saying to you, I have to admit, I check up on you to see how you're doing and what you're up to. I can't help myself. I need to know. So they're letting you know that they are checking up on you. You know, they want to know how you're doing, what's happening in your life, you know, because they want to be a part of it. And to finish off, they're also saying, I really want all the things that you want and I want them with you. A family, a home, a beautiful life together, going on adventures, growing all together. I desire what you desire. So they're letting you know that those dreams that you have, you know, because you are that one soul, you know, and they are saying to you, you know, they de they desire to have the true love as well. They desire all the beautiful things, you know, a family, going on adventures together, growing old together, spending your time together. They're wanting that too. 
So they're letting you know that they desire what you desire and they're working on themselves, ending cycles and chapters of their lives, changing things in their life, healing themselves so that they can then be able to come forward and, you know, and have this life with you that they're dreaming of. So those are the messages that are coming through for today. I hope you have a great day, guys. Sending you so much love.